Tujo Manko who will talk about multi-user, multi-armed bandit learning algorithms in IoT. Good afternoon to everybody. And I'm going to present a demo that we are currently working on Central Superlet. Uh, our demo is uh, targets the implementation of uh, IoT of an emulation for an IO, for IoT networks, where we uh, try to evaluate machine learning algorithms. So, this is a picture of uh, our scenario where we have a lot of IoT devices trying to communicate to the gateway. And since we have a lot of IoT devices, uh, it may happen uh, that uh, many of them uh, collide. So uh, in this scenario, uh, we uh, try to include, uh, let's say, uh, smart IoT devices that can incorporate uh, machine learning algorithms to be able to select a channel, a channel or the best channel for its transmission to the gateway. So we uh, try to be uh, as close as possible to, uh, to an LP1 network, meaning that uh, we use unlicensing bands and try to be close to the LoRa standard. So this is our testbed. Uh, we have uh, some uh, few uh, USRPs, an octocloud, and all of them running in Unio Radio. So. Our demo is composed of uh, two main parts, uh, let's say an IoT device and a gateway. Uh, each of them uh, is implemented as a transceiver, which uh, let's say it has uh, three parts, three main parts, a, a, a block for the generation of a packet, another one for the detection of a packet, and finally we, uh, we implement a, like a LoRa field layer. So uh, this is how it works for uh, for a, a IoT device. Each time the, the it receives a packet, uh, the field layer, the modulate, and send to the to the to this block uh, the packet detection to to decide if this packet was for uh, was sent for this IoT. So uh, what we try to to emulate. Uh, is this a scenario where we, uh, you can see uh, with more details how each IoT device transmits a packet and then wait for some time to receive an acknowledgement packet from, from the gateway. And we, you, we of course, uh, have a lot of IoT devices trying to communicate uh, to the gateway. And we add some uh, IoTs that can incorporate a new block that uh, introduce these uh, machine learning algorithms. For this case, we uh, implement a UCB algorithm which uh, denotes an upper confident bound uh, banded algorithm that has been studied uh, a lot in the literature where uh, this, uh, this algorithm uh, makes decision after, uh, after a successful packet transmission in a given channel. Let's say that uh, this, this IoT uh, sent several times uh, a packet in a given channel to the gateway, and since, uh, since the transmission is successful, this uh, algorithm takes, takes into account this, uh, this uh, let's say, this uh, ratio of number of successful packets give, uh, given the number of, of trials to, to communicate with a gateway to uh, keep trying on this channel. Otherwise, it will try to move or explore uh, different channels. And this is our multi-user uh, scenario. So uh, each time uh, a, uh, an IoT device trying to, tr trying to transmit a packet, it waits for an acknowledgment. And after it receives an acknowledgment, it again uh, trying to transmit a, a packet and wait for an acknowledgement. This, uh, this procedure is repeated several times to emulate the behavior that we have in an IoT network where you know uh, each IoT device uh, 
tries to send a packet, but after many hours. So here we somehow we force uh, IoT device to, to transmit uh, after this period of time. However, uh, for those IoT devices that can incorporate uh, these learning algorithms, after receiving an acknowledgement, uh, each of these IoT will uh, update uh, this uh, learning algorithm to, to make a decision on the channel, on which channel to transmit for the next transmission. And of course, each time, uh, each time an IoT device uh, send a packet to the gateway, it needs to be identified by an ID, like, uh, like a MAC, uh, MAC address. So <coughs> this is the packet structure that we uh, consider for, for this implementation. We have a first a preamble for timing and uh, phase compensation between the, the transmissions, and then we have uh, another packet that we named uh, up and down preamble that uh, in this case it was necessary, uh, it was uh, mandatory to do because we implement a transceiver that sends a packet and at the same time is listening on, uh, in the same channel. So it means that every time that an IoT device transmits a packet, it receives, uh, it hears its own packet. So he can understand that uh, after sending a packet, uh, he receives his own packet and he may consider this packet as an acknowledgement, which is not the case. So for this reason, we, we introduce a, a preamble to, dis to distinguish if, if it is an, an uplink or a downlink packet. So when an IoT device transmits a packet, uh, this flag will uh, allow this IoT device to recognize that this packet is an uplink packet, and of course, uh, you have to discard to uh, avoid this packet to, to be considered as an acknowledgement. After this preamble, we have uh, an ID, which uh, in this case re re means the, let's say, the, the MAC address of uh, our IoT device, and since we have uh, six blocks, uh, it, it can uh, incorporate up to 64 uh, IoT users, and of course we, we, can, con uh, we can divide in, in, uh, in blocks of the smaller samples to take into account a, a large number of IoTs. This is uh, some of the parameters that we set for a lot of standard. This is uh, the problem that we address uh, by implementing uh, this transceiver. Since each time uh, an IoT device or a gateway transmits a packet, it receives his, his own packet. So uh, with this preamble, it can identify and discard uh, to avoid this, uh, this problem. We also uh, build a graphical uh, graphical interface to see how it works. Here we have a, a, a graphical interface for an IoT device where uh, in, this, in this picture, in this block, we see two blocks. The first, one, the first uh, block corresponds to the transmitted packet and the second one is the, the block that corresponds to the an acknowledgement that has been received. So in this spectrogram, we, we see that after transmitting a packet, we receive an acknowledgement. And then, in this, uh, in this block, we uh, show the statistics about the successful packet transmission. In this case, we have considered uh, four channels. So, uh, each time that this IoT device tries to transmit a packet in any of these uh, four channels, we, we see that uh, if, if, uh, this transmission uh, were successful. In blue, we have the number of times that the IoT tries to, to transmit a packet in this channel, while in red, we have the number of successful packet transmissions. 
So if we see a, a gap between these two cores, it's because uh, this package has been lost or has been not detected either at the gateway or at the IoT side. And the same for the gateway. We also uh, take, take into account this uh, graphical uh, user interface to, to see or uh, do uh, some kind of debugging about uh, the transmission and the reception of packets. And the idea is that as we increase the number of IoT devices, we, we, uh, we have to consider that uh, many collisions in different situations uh, may, uh, may happen. For instance, when, uh, when we have uh, many IoTs that send, this, uh, the send at the same time uh, packets uh, in the same channel, or when uh, one of the IoT device send a packet, and suddenly uh, there is a, a, an acknowledgement packet. So there, there can be a collision between uplink packets and between uplink and downlink. And all of these collisions degrade the performance, uh, either in terms of the throughput or the, or the energy efficiency. But that's what we want to, to emulate to, to see uh, how these uh, machine learning algorithms uh, can work uh, in a more realistic environment. Here, and I print some videos, I think. I hope. I, since I, I wasn't able to bring uh, my USRP, I tried to, to show you uh, uh, some figures and, and short videos the, about how it, how it works. You can see uh, how the uh, transmission of packing and the resection is is plot in this in this box. Here uh, takes into account the, the statistics. In this block, uh, we show the, the modulated uh, QPSK symbols. And the same for the gateway. So in this case, uh, there is uh, only uh, one uh, IoT device uh, trying to communicate with a gateway. But of course, it can deal with uh, many IoTs. So here we uh, we run these uh, two uh, GRC designs: one in an IoT device and the other one in a in for the gateway. And we see that uh, the IoT transmit the packet, and almost at the same time, the, this packet is received by the gateway. Then the gateway recognizes this, this ID for this, I, for this IoT device and send an acknowledgement that is received by this IoT. And of course, uh, it will take into account here the statistics that uh, later will be used by a block uh, where we implement our machine learning algorithm to, to design uh, on the channel for the next transmission. This is uh, our. Uh, main components in our uh, genuine radio design. We have a block we call the generator IT, IoT to create these packets, another one for the detection of packets, and this block that we name renormalization to, uh, to implement uh, our physical layer. In here uh, you can see it in more details, but if you see that uh, there are many blocks this block just corresponds to, to take into account the statistics and to do some, de some debugging in, in this demo. Here in, the, in this block with these dashed lines, you can see the, for this IoT, the receiver and the transmitter uh, chain of uh, blocks. Since we, uh, we put a, a transceiver in each IoT device and uh, regarding the, the machine learning algorithms, it is implemented within this block that we call generator. So each time that it creates a packet, it updates the statistics, the statistics about the successful packet transmission in this channel to, to, the, to decide in which channel to transmit. Wow. 
This is the, these are the blocks for corresponding for the gateway. You, uh, you may see that uh, it's, it's quite uh, similar. We, in fact, we use the same block for the physical layer. Somehow the same, the same block for the packet detection. And the only block that chain is the corresponding to the send ACK, which uh, tries to uh, create a packet for uh, the acknowledgement. Here is the, uh, something similar to the previous slide. And this is how it, uh, it works in real time. Let's say that we have uh, just one IoT device and the gateway. So our demo starts by generating a packet in this block, after which this packet is received by the gateway. The, our gateway demodulates uh, this packet in, uh, within this block as a physical layer. And then this block, this, uh, this block that brings an ID is detected in this, in this uh, section. So here what uh, the gateway is, uh, tries to do is uh, detect the, the ID of the, uh, of the IoT device. And then it sends the acknowledgment. After that, it is this acknowledgment receiver and is detected by the IoT. At this point, the our cycle for uh, in our demo is repeated again. Here, for instance, we have uh, um, two IoTs. One of them is using this channel, let's say the channel uh, given by this in index number seven, and another one the may have, uh, they can use uh, four channels, let's say uh, channel three, five, seven, and, and nine. So if, if we run uh, this, <laughs> these two IOTs, you will see that uh, as uh, many, uh, many transmissions are carried out, uh, this IOT device that incorporates the machine learning algorithm try to move to the to the other channel instead of choosing the channel number seven where this first IoT device is transmitting, and of course uh, you see in the spectro in the spectrogram uh, many ch the the transmission of at the same time in the at the same uh, channel or not of this packet. Here we have uh, some similar examples. And what we try to, to do is to increase the, the number of IoT devices for which our platform uh, is expected to, 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 to incorporate more, more USRPs to evaluate this, not only with more uh, IoT devices, but also in including a traffic generator to emulate the channel occupancy given by a, a large number of IoT devices. I think that, is, that these uh, examples are somehow, uh, somehow try to explain uh, the work that we did. And I think that that's all that I need to talk. And if, if you have some questions, I, I will be very grateful.